A text message from a client that I had been waiting for for basically a year. Uh, he wants me to come down to DC, take a look at his watch collection, which is filled with uh, Patek Philippe, you know, uh, Nautilus's, Aquanauts, um, Rolex Guide. It was basically like a kind of a, a candy shop of um, uber desirable modern uh, modern watches. Um, pick which ones I'd like to sell and liquidate them ASAP. So now I got to book a train to DC and sell a couple hundred thousand dollars in watches in the next, no big deal, like five days. Good morning guys, it's Thursday. I am about to head to Metro Park and go down to DC. Uh, I had to pick out a watch this morning to wear for the next two days. Uh, and to me, it was a layup. Rolex we'll State Just, reference 1601, uh, the first watch I ever bought. Uh, like I told you guys, I try to go out of my way to wear this watch uh, when like a day or an event is going to be kind of monumental. I think the next two days are gonna be pretty monumental. Just pulled into DC, have a little bit more computer work to do because I watched an episode of Game of Thrones <laughs> on the train. Um, I bought a chicken and tuna salad with veggies even though I wanted a bagel because, um, I don't know, it's still January and uh, here's resolutions. <laughs> so I'll crank out these emails, I'll eat this annoyingly healthy food and then go see some incredible watches. I'm excited. All right, I made it here. It's a house call, so we've got, how many watches do we have? 30, uh, 40? You know, it's probably about 60. 60 watches. 70. I'm seeing Paddocks, uh, Datejust, uh, I see Daytonas, I see 1000 Omegas, uh, BLNR, Paddock Roll Time. This is gonna be fun, guys. Let's jump in. Some cheap watch, right? Some cheap watch, only 52. Okay. I told you guys this was gonna be serious. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, gotta start picking through it all and, and figuring out what we have to do. Some's gonna retail, uh, some will wholesale the dealers, but um, we're gonna liquidate. All right, admittedly, I am a little overwhelmed. There are more watches than I anticipated. Uh, I'm not a very good organizer. Um, that's what Anna's really good at. Um, but I think I'm doing a decent job. I'm organizing them by keep and sell. Then I'm organizing the sales between wholesale and retail. Then I have to organize the retail watches uh, by, you know, one, their value to determine kind of how quickly or when we're going to release them. Um, this is not hard. It's just a little bit hard for me. <laughs> Trying to take a picture of the watches. We now gotta clean up a Christmas tree that fell over trying to do it. I really like this one. I knew I would like it. I've seen them on the internet a thousand times. Um, and I've tried them on before. But uh, it, just, it just screams like summer vacation sports watch. It is a paddock, which is kind of douchey, I guess. But I think it does what it does in a really humble way. My heart rate is, is, is way up for the last hour, um, emailing a lot of clients, posting on Instagram, answering a thousand inquiries. Um, you know, you, you get to that like point, like when you're a beginner kind of dealer, where you're like, oh, how's this person even real buyer? Like I'll, you know, categorize them to the bottom. Um, and I've learned in the last four years that literally everyone is a real buyer and you have no idea by someone's Instagram what they're actually ready to purchase. And this isn't a matter of like discrimination. This just comes down to, I have 45 inquiries right now, you know, is there information that I can gather from your profile that lets me know whether or not you know I should answer you in two seconds or whether I should put you down and there really is no science to it it comes down to just type as fast as you fucking can um, and get help which I don't have right now I 
sold the Aquanaut. I'm sorry, I'm doing a vlog. <laughs> already sold an Aquanaut wearing the Platinum Daytona and meeting with a client right now to see if I can sell maybe a complicated paddock. Let's do it. After a long night of drinking and selling watches here in DC, at this point, I'm, you know, because of the sheer volume of the watches, I'm becoming very motivated to do uh, package deals, um, a minimum of, of, of two watches to make a deal, because the buyers out there know that these watches are particularly kind of hard to find, specifically the Nautilus and the Aquanaut. That's it, time to get dressed, eat a little something, and head back to New Jersey take some photos, and again, sell some watches. And I almost forgot a big shout out to my cousin for his company, No Nikki, and this sick t-shirt. More speedy cars, less speedy drugs. Say no to drugs, there. It's time to organize all these boxes. Oh, there's a paddock box. I was looking for this. I was looking for this paddock box. Okay, I just realized that I have insufficient packing material for all these watches. So now I have to improvise. I don't know, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, maybe 15 watches. I don't have packages for. Cool. Cool. Look at how awesome this is. I want to show you something. Anna made this for our client a couple of months back. Check this out. So I figured out that if I take plastic and just like from an Amazon box and wrap it like this, and then if I tape it to secure, we actually have a responsible trashy, but responsible method for packing these watches. Okay, I just called my Uber, but on the way out, I saw that he has like these little like, they're probably for children, I think you, get in them and you roll around. And um, and I feel like I've worked really hard the last like 24 hours, so I'm gonna do that. Vintage washes. Alright, it was worth it. It's cool. We're waiting in Washington's Union Station, taking forever. Um, I don't know, the train's delayed. I have a dinner appointment. Get very anxious. Bah. Thank you for choosing Mark. So I just cut the line and no one said anything. And there are two people know what I did. All right, uh, I'm home. Uh, I have a meeting in Milburn in like 40 minutes, so I have to go shower and get ready. But tomorrow morning, bright and early, we'll take photos, write descriptions, and get ready to list these awesome watches in the Theo and Harris watch shop. <sighs> Almost there. Taking emergency photos, <laughs> you know. <laughs> the Aquanaut doesn't stand up. It doesn't stand up. Look at our nice um, homemade. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. This is the worst. I say you gotta put like some sort of tape or something. I'm saying I'm a genius, but I did figure out tape. I didn't invent tape, but we're using it to secure the watch. So very, yeah, very high tech over here. Very high tech. Put two pieces of scotch tape. On the watch. <laughs> Would you say I'm extremely intelligent or just a little bit more intelligent than most people? Neither. Neither. <laughs>